All right, so now we're going to look at scalar multiplication, which we haven't quite addressed yet. Um, so we've got the vector 2, 1, v. Let's plot that. All right, so we're going to go tails at the origin. So we go over 2 units. We go up 1. And we get the vector v, like so. Okay. Now, um, 2 times v, so if v is 2, 1, then 2v is 2 times 2, 1. And so the rule is we multiply in the 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. We get the vector 4, 2. And so if we go there, we get the vector here, which is going to look like this, right? So 2v. Same direction, twice as long. Let's confirm that by actually computing the magnitudes, right? So 2v looks like it's twice as long. Is it actually twice as long? Well, the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared, so 4 plus 1. That's the square root of 5. The magnitude of 2v, so that's 4 squared plus 2 squared, 16 plus 4 gets me to the square root of 20. Okay. Oh, but 20 is 4 times 5, so if you remember your tricks for simplifying square roots, uh, that's root 4 times root 5, which is indeed 2 root 5, so 2 times the magnitude of v. Now that turns out to be a rule that's true in general, and I'll show you why in the next video.